Hello again. Today's movie was Onibaba, an amazing Japanese horror movie from 1964, directed by and written by Kaneto Shindo. The story follows two women, one older woman and her daughter in law, in 14th century Japan, who live in a very simple hut in the middle of a sea of really tall grasses. As a civil war rages on around them, they murder and rob stray soldiers in order to exchange their valuables for food. Complications arise when former neighbor Hachi returns home and begins to take an interest in the younger woman. Onibaba is a grim and unsettling horror film. Uh, it's as visually stunning as it is unsettling, and it features the most incredible cinematography of this sea of high grasses. Um, which make the grasses almost a living presence in the film, filled with menace. Um, we get the sense that nature is rising up and waiting to engulf and devour the characters. The horror in Onibaba, beyond the killings depicted on screen, comes from a really disturbing sense that humanity is kind of disintegrating, that the characters are actually losing their human identity. It's a film which uh, taps into the deeper levels of the horrors of war in as much as uh, we see how they degrade the characters and really beginning to de-evolve them into a an almost animal state. This disintegration of human identity is reflected in the characters, uh, particularly the women having no names, and the fact that almost everyone in the film is near naked for most of the time. Um, everyone is starving and whenever they get the chance they eat like really ravenous animals. All the characters in the film are actually preying on each other also. Um, it's amazing to me that Onibaba evokes the kind of horror we're more used to seeing in a zombie film, which to me is often the horror of the loss of human identity and this kind of reduction into a state of just animalistic hunger um, and preying on each other. Um, it's it's an amazing achievement of um, Shindo that he manages to evoke all of this out of such simple elements as two women, a grass hut, uh, and this sea of grass that surrounds them all. Onibaba is a chilling and startling film filled with really unforgettable images. The dialogue is very sparse in most of the film, so the story is actually told a lot through the really powerful visuals. Um, another highlight of the film is the fantastic score, which combines traditional Japanese instruments, drumming, with some jazz influences and uh, these disturbing human cries and shrieks. It's really powerful and creates a very chilling atmosphere. If I have one small qualm about the film, uh, it centres around the older woman. She's constantly referred to as old and an old hag and you know, the other characters seem to regard her as some sort of monstrous old woman. She actually looks like she's about 40, and I checked the, the actress's biography, and she was 40 when she was playing this role. So, um, yeah, that kind of made me feel old. I don't think 40 is that old to be considered an old woman, but there you go. There is a lot of nudity in Onibaba. Um, if you are looking to see a film where Japanese men are mainly in their underpants, um, You've hit the jackpot with Onibaba. Um, the nudity is not really sexy though. There are certainly some sexy scenes in it and it has that uh, erotic counterpoint to the all the death and mayhem in the film. Um, but I felt like the nudity was much more about the character's loss of identity and the fact that they just have nothing. It's not really sexy nudity for the most part. All in all, I would say Onibaba is a stunning film with really poetic cinematography, powerful and raw performances, and it will leave you with a lot to think about and some really unforgettable moments. Um, highly recommended. I really hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.